Tube Tools Profile Preset can be used to create both the final and base hair for your stylized characters. So let's pretend that uh, this is the head of a character. And now to create the hair, select the Tube Tool. Make sure the path is selected. Then draw a line and tap on the green dot. I like to disable the snap. Then I will add a point in the middle to add curve like this. Now click on profile. You can turn a corner into a curve simply by tapping on the dot. I'm gonna make this thin ellipse type shape like this. And check to see if it looks good. And then save the profile by tapping on the preset and then new. You can rename it if you want. Now the cool thing is that you can also clone it and add variations to the shapes to create countless profile presets like this and build a library for yourself so you can, you know, use them in future projects. So I'm gonna create one more shape like this. and save again. I've used the same technique to create these profile presets too. Now let me show you how I use these profile presets. I'm gonna select a profile I like, this one. As soon as I do that, it changes the tube's profile over here. Now enable the radius, then by dragging these handles, you can make it thin or thick, like this. Before you hit validate, if you select the path again and draw, you can create the same curve to you without doing anything else. This saves a lot of time. Also, you can twist the hair by enabling the twist feature. This is really an efficient way to make stylized hair. Make sure to check out these videos to see how I use the tube tool to create hair in actual projects. And subscribe if you found it useful. I will see you in the next video.